Hi folks, hope everybody's okay, and uh, love to everybody out there. Uh, I just want to share with you my love uh, for the Puritans, and uh, I just want to share with you um, this website. Uh, this website is called uh, puritanlibrary.com, puritanlibrary.com, and uh, here uh, you've got all the great uh, Puritan writers. You've got Thomas Watson, he was a, a powerful uh, theologian, uh, wrote The Body of Divinity, uh, Ten Commandments, and Thomas Watson, uh, you can get all his books here if you look at this uh, book here. Um, so if you click on uh, So if you uh, so uh, there's, there's uh, Thomas Watson's books there. Uh, you've got William Ames. You've got uh, Uh, William Ames, 1576, 1633. He was known and quoted in the colonies of the New World for his theology more than Calvin and Luther combined. combined. Um, so, yeah, so the uh, William Bates, you've got William Bates, Richard Baxter uh, from Kidderminster wrote the Reformed Pastor but wrote massive volumes thomas goodwin uh load a lot of volumes on uh very experimental uh books uh christopher love wrote some great works on uh pastoral works uh, thomas manton uh, volumes 22 volumes of his sermons uh, his commentary on jude by banner truth is excellent john owen uh, prince of theologians William Perkins wrote a great book on preaching. Francis Turin wrote a great book on theology, systematic theology. Uh, Thomas Adams, Richard Bernard. Uh, Bunyan Ministries is a great ministry where it has John Bunyan's uh, works, Bunyan Online Library. It's a good place. Stephen Charnock wrote a great work on uh, the doctrine of God. Jonathan Edwards, the great American theologian. John Fox uh, wrote Fox's Book of Martyrs, a great guy. Uh, Andrew Gray, William Guthrie uh, wrote uh, Christian uh, Interest. Uh, it's a good work for those who are just learning about Christianity. John Hall, Cotton Mather, um, works of William Perkins. Uh, yeah, so Thomas Watson again, yeah. Uh, and if you go on this side here, you've got all the PDFs, you've got You've got, uh, I'll just go through some of the work so that you can see, uh, and I recommend some of these. The Body of Divinity by Thomas Watson is an absolute superb work. Oh, it's awesome. One of the best theology books ever. Simple to read. I did a Bible study once using The Body of Divinity. It was brilliant. Uh, the Beatitudes and Exposition of Matthew 5, 5, 5 1 to 12. Superb. Christian soldier, superb. The doctrine of repentance, superb. Godly man's picture, superb. Ten Commandments, superb. All these works by Thomas Watson. Easy style, excellent. Now we're coming to the not the prince, but the king of theologians, uh, John Owen. Here you can get PDFs. I mean, these are meaty, meaty works. Awesome works. Really meaty. And um, the death of death is a classic defense of Calvinism um, the communion with God is a brilliant book I mean it's absolutely fantastic work and uh, the glory of Christ is another great work that you would do well to read uh, you can get all these different Kindle uh, his commentary on Hebrews is worth his weight in gold Richard Sibbs a favorite writer of the great preacher Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones his book group Bruce Greep Bruce Reed was a great help to Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. 
Thomas Brooks, a uh, very good writer in pastoral care, uh, a series of discourses concerning well-grounded assurance is a good book published in edited form by the Banner of Truth, and then you have his six volume works. William Ames, I've uh, not read uh, William Ames. Thomas Bosson, um, his fourfold state, uh, Human Nature in His Fourfold State is a very good book to read uh, about early Christian, uh, about basic Christianity. And then you have all these volumes here. Uh, you have John Bunyan's works, PDF, the, the one who wrote Pilgrim's Progress and many of his works. John Flavel, a good experimental writer. Jonathan Edwards, you've got Justification by Faith Alone, Freedom of the Will, Treaties on Grace. Uh, his books on revival are superb, one of the great theologians and philosophers of all time. Charlotte's Doctrine of God, um, these books are weighty and very good to read. Thomas Goodwin, uh, Francis Ridley Havergale, the great poet in Worcester, really liked Thomas Goodwin and meaty theologian. Thomas Shepherd, uh, William Guthrie, the Scottish writer, the Christian's great interest uh, mentioned there. Then you have Thomas Manton, the 22 volumes, uh, worthy of reading uh, his writing. William Bridge, Richard Baxter, 23 volumes of PDF, rich practical writings there. Then you have Hugh Binning, Joseph Elaine, oh, Joseph Elaine, what a guy he was. He, he was... He was a guy who just did evangelism no matter what. When he was dying, he was asked to be put on his stretcher so he could go out preaching. That's the great Joseph Alain. Jeremiah Burroughs, uh, William Gunnell. Oh, William Gunnell, Christian in complete armor. I'm reading that at the moment. And what a delight. What a delight. You are missing out if you don't read that book. William Perkins, again, The Art of Prophesying, is also published by The Banner of Truth. Uh, probably one of the best books on preaching, if not the best book on preaching ever written. And I say that having read many, many books on preaching, The Art of Prophesying is, without a doubt, probably one of the best books ever written on preaching. It just gets to the point. It does its job. Awesome book. John Robertson, don't know much about him. Uh, Thomas Case, John Ball, John Hall, Thomas Googe, William Bates, David Clarkson, John Collacorn, can't pronounce it, Richard Steele, John Cotton, Anthony Burgess, Ebenezer Erskine, Matthew Henry, great commentator, Thomas Adams, Matthew Mead, Philip Dodgeridge, oh, what a great Bible teacher he was great at theological education um worthy of study isaac ambrose benjamin brooks live of the puritans all oh, my friends you are missing out if you have not read anything of these books these books the lives of the puritans are worth the waiting gold you need to read these volumes i tell you and i kid you not you will be mightily enriched by reading these books. Herman Witsus, I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, I know he was a, quite a intellectual theologian. Walter Marshall, uh, The Mystery of Sanctification, is a good book on the Christian life. Henry Bullinger. Uh, Edward Reynolds, Ezekiel Hopkins. James Usher, Daniel Neal. James Usher is a good guy. Daniel Neal, they're all good guys. Daniel Neal's uh, History of the Puritans will be a good read. Westminster Confession of Faith is always a good read. Uh, there. So you've got all these sets that you can download. And here's all the individual Puritans on the right hand side for you. Now, Historical and theological resources. You can go to the West History of the Westminster Seminary. Esther, sorry, you can go for the History of the Westminster Assembly. There's the Directory of Puritans. You've got Puritan Mind. Grace Online Library is a great place to go. Uh, you've got Church History Timeline. You've got the Centre. Uh, 
Centre for Dissenting Studies, Encyclopedia Puritanica Project, in English Puritan Meditation. Fire and Ice is a brilliant place to go. Loads of books that you can download there. Grace Gems is another brilliant place to go to download material. History and Theology of the Puritans by J.I. Packer's sixteen part series is a superb lecture series. John Newton, 1725, 1807, is a great website. Uh, the John Newton Project is a great website to read about and study John Newton's writings. And you've got the Scotch Worthies. It's a lovely little website that gives you all some uh, lectures and resources on Scots Worthies. You got the Westminster Confession and the Westminster Assembly Project is a nice little website for you to go to. Now we've got Reformation and Puritan and academic scholars for today, which we'll go through some of those now. Um, I'll just give you a sound off on one or two. Joe Beakey superb awesome absolutely awesome theologian wrote a number of books on the puritans uh, a master at dutch reform theology one of my favorites uh, lectures at the puritan reform seminary i love joe beak i've heard him lecture in the uk and i love the guy john coffrey don't know him uh, J. L. Legion Duncan, superb guy, um, man of stature. Look at his website. W. Robert Godfrey. I've seen him lecture in the UK. Uh, lectures for Legion and Ministry sometimes. Great guy. I love him. Crawford Gribbon. Don't know the guy, but he'll be good. Michael Haken, great lecturer in church history. Paul Helm, a philosopher, and uh, I would encourage you to go and read his blog, Helm's Deep. Stephen R. Holmes. Michael Horton, Frank A. James, Kelly Capick, Peter Lake, Tony Lane, uh, Richard Muller, Mark Knoll is an interesting uh, scholar, J.I. Packer is a well-known scholar amongst evangelicals, uh, there's some worries about him going over to Roman Catholicism or something at the moment, but uh, his works on the Purians are very helpful. Leyland Reichen, Philip J. Reichen, Harriet Dr. W. H. Thomas, I love that guy, great theologian, uh, Reformed Theological Seminary guy. John L. Thompson, Nicholas Tyak, Keith Rick Wrightson, William Barker, David Como, David Crankshaw, John D. Moss, Sinclair Ferguson, awesome guy, wrote quite a lot on um, uh, John Owen. Charles Hambrick Stowe is a John Owen scholar. Charles Ambrick Stowe, John De Hanna, lecture Michael Haken, great church historian. And use Lucy Kostjanowski and then Carl R. Truman. Carl Truman is at Westminster Theological Seminary and is very interested in the patristics and uh, very good on the intellectual history of Christianity. So that's uh, the Puritans for you. They were among God's giants. They were scholars that I've that that um, I've referenced today. The scholars on Puritanism. Uh, my favourites there are Joel Beakey, Paul Helm. Joel Beakey is a theologian. Paul Helm is a philosopher. Robert Godfrey is a historian. Those are my favourites in all this uh, group of scholars today and Carl Truman and Sinclair Ferguson those are the ones that stand out for me and J.I. Packer 
are the ones that stand out for me but check out the websites find the puritan library go and download some pdfs get reading and then go on this puritan website side and look at the individual puritans written about them the historical and theological and devotional resources and then the scholars today on the puritans and you'll be mightily enriched i'm reading at the moment uh william guthrie's uh christian incomplete armor which is uh uh, over a thousand pages and i'm reading that at the moment i'm devouring that and i'm really enjoying it so all that's a blessing to you so god bless you and thank you for listening god bless take care now i'm going to do another couple of videos and i uh, hope that you find them a blessing thank you